Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, if you can't tell by the title, we are going to be continuing with the Encanto series. Yeah, we, today I'm going to be doing Isabella. Isabella, Isabella Madri, Madrigal, Madrigal? Yeah, yeah. Um, so today I'm going to be doing Isabella's look. This is what she looks like. She's a very flowery one. I am super excited. Um, so yeah, I think I'm just gonna be doing Isabella and then Louisa, and I think that's it. Unless you guys want me to do another one, um, like Pepper or somebody like that, you'll have to let me know. But these were like the main ones that I wanted to do. So if you haven't seen the first few ones where I do Dolores, Camille, and Antonio, I'll remember to link them up in the cards and probably also a playlist at the end of this video in case you guys are interested. Um, but yeah, today is gonna be Isabella, so let's jump straight on into it. Okay, so I literally just primed my lids. For this look, I want to keep it more like pink, pinky purple kind of theme, pinky lilac kind of themed. Obviously, she does in the film realise that she can create other beautiful things that aren't just pink lilac flowers. Um, but I do want to keep kind of like stick to that kind of side of her. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to jump into the Beauty Bay Midnight Palette. This is the 16 colour palette. And I'm going to take the shade Lavender, which is this shade here. We're going to go into that shade first. And I'm going to pack this on. Like, so literally just packing it on. And I want to bring it in like that kind of motion. I've done it before with like... The Dolores one, I've done like a similar kind of vibe. That's the kind of vibe that I want to go for for this one as well. So we're just going to go for it. Such a pretty shade. I love Isabella's character. Um, so yeah, that shade is kind of like down. It's, I'm happy where it's at. I'll probably build like work on it a little bit. I'm next going to dip into the Love Notes palette from Beauty Bay, and I'm going to take the shade a Lilac, which is this one here. And I'm just going to start to blend around that first shade this is so dirty why is it so dirty for the mirror is always dirty Okay, I'm just gonna build up I'm gonna build up these two shades. I'll just build them up off camera and then I'll go ahead and cut like carve out the crease and I'll use my P. Louise X Mitchell blank canvas acid rain base. My goodness. And then we will do a lid shade. I'm thinking to do like up the side like little like little tiny flowers almost like from like there upwards. Um I might do it on like one eye just so we can see what kind of vibe we're getting. Um, but I do also do want to like do flowers around like maybe like some just around this way or something like you know like coming down. Something like that. I'm not too sure. Um, I'm just kind of going with it right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly do that. I'll cut my crease. I'll see how I'm feeling and then I could, we'll see how what I'm looking like when I come back. Uh, so yeah, I'll be right back. Hey guys, I am back. I did just do this eye just so I can see what it kind of looks like. I did the little flowers. You know what? They're not the best, but I think it's kind of cute. You can see what they are. You know that they're like meant to be a flower. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead, go ahead and do this eye. Obviously, it looks a bit like weird because obviously 
I've been left I've just left it for so long um so yeah I'm gonna dip into I'm gonna go into the Huda Beauty I'm gonna go into the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz palette um I love this palette and I'm gonna go into the shade Moon Magic oh I love this shade I used it in one of my recent videos where it was like full full face of or almost a full face of Huda Beauty um yeah and I spoke about how much I love this shade I think it is just beautiful I wish I could get it in a single form because like I've actually used mine a lot um so yeah I'm gonna go into a brush I've literally just used a little bit of a mat of, on a finger on a what am I trying to say I've used a bit on my finger just to get like the base down um and then I'm just gonna go around the edges and fill in the rest of it because I absolutely love this shade. I think it is just like the most beautiful lid shade ever. The... And I will hit pan on it. <laughs> I will. Probably not even, not even far off the pan, I don't think. I literally use it a lot. Yeah, I'm just gonna clean up the edge slightly. Um, so I'm just gonna go into some like micellar water, and I'm just gonna like clean up the edge, if you will. This is gonna be a good like guide to where I'm gonna put the flowers. now for the flowers so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my this is the glisten cosmetics wet liner in the shade milk i have used mine so much i need to buy some more colors in it but i'm just waiting for payday so i have i'm going to spritz a little bit of just a setting mist in there just like one or two spritz and i'm just going to take a brush this is the morphe m443 brush and I'm literally just going to dip into it and I'm just going to create, so I've got like one, two, three, four, five, I've got five flowers on the side, so I'm going to do five flowers on this side, so I'm going to take the first one, actually let me just fill in this little bit here because I feel like there's a bit of... Um, I feel like I bring it in a little bit further down on this side, so I'm just going to like try and match it up. Yeah, so I'm going to take that and I'm just going to put like a few little dots. First one there. I've just spaced them like evenly basically like evenly now i'm going to take the beauty bay liner palette this is the one that came out with the utopia collection i'm not too sure if this is still available but basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to take these two so i'm just going to fill it in so obviously i'm doing like alternate ones um so i'll just go in like with the dark one first um and again, just do little dots around it. Uh, again, I'll just speed this bit up so then you're not sitting there just watching me. Okay, so clearly this side is better than this side. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, I think it still looks cute. Um, so we're going to leave it like that. I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to do um, so like my lashes, my base off camera. Um, and then we'll see where we're up to. 
if I feel like doing flowers, I might do a couple of them off camera and just kind of see what I'm feeling. Um, so I'm going to go do that and then I'll be right back. Hey guys that I am back Um, I've decided not to do any flowers like around the face I just feel like I don't know I'm just not really feeling like I want to do too much so what I've done is I've done it on this eye basically just in the same thing so I'm just going to do the same on the other eye I'm just going to do three little flowers um, on the inner corner portion I feel like that kind of just brings it all together Um, so we'll do that together now so I'm literally just going to put dot there. Dot there. I bought that dot's massive. <laughs> then one there. And then I'm going to do like one dark, one of the dark ones with this one. Then I'm going to go into the lilac shade again. Okay, so for lips, I'm going to go into the Beauty Bay lip liner and this is in the shade Toast. I'm going to have to sharpen it. I'm just going to pop it on. And then I want to go into the Beauty Bay lip gloss and this is in the shade Petal. I just thought it was kind of like fitting it. It's like a pinky toned. Okay guys, this is the finished look. What do you guys think? I really like it. I think it's just... Perf I think it's just really nice. I think it's perfect. I'm glad I didn't go in with too many flowers. I think this was just like the right amount of flowers for what I was like wanting. It's cute. Got a little few on each side. It's nice and easy. It's very wearable. I think because I've done, obviously, the past few ones, I've done other than Dolores, you know, that I wanted to do something again that's wearable. So like, like the Dolores one, it's very wearable this one obviously the antonio one and the camilla one a little bit different because i did more on the face but i wanted to do something that was more like eye based which is what i did today i think for the louisa one i want to do something that's like eyes and bait like face based based base you know what i'm trying to say i want to do for louisa i want to do something that's like eyes and base like that's what I want to do for the look um but I'm kind of glad that I just went with this for Isabella's I just think it's really cute it's just nice and easy you can wear this you can even you can like go out in this and it'll look normal so yeah I really hope you enjoyed today's video guys everything else that I'm wearing on my face will of course link in the description box down below as always and yeah I guess I'll see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>